In a world where legendary men are dying breeds, one man dares to take on the defying challenges we face, and he goes by the name of Mr. Paul. Hey guys, it's Mr. Paul. I'm here to help Mr. B out for man skills. And so today we're going to talk about how to put those finishing touches on yourself, the wonderful experiences of washing in your clothes and ironing your clothes and tying a necktie. So I'm excited. Hope you're excited. I can't wait. It um, excites me. I, I'm excited and that was exciting. He's just excited that I'm here. I'm just excited. It would have been exciting. It's, ex it's exciting for me. I guess they are pretty excited. And I'm excited. I'm excited and excited and that's exciting. Excited about the support that I have here. It'll be exciting to watch. All right guys, the first thing you need to do to look your best and this look like a sharp dressed man, you have to have clean clothes. How do you get clothes clean? You use these. This, if you don't know, is called a washing machine. This is called a dryer. And you use them in a certain order. So I'm gonna break it down for you so you don't get confused. So the first machine you use is called a washing machine. It cleans the clothes, okay? So how we do it? We open the lid, this here, and then we put our clothes into the machine. You put them into the machine. And the next thing you do is add laundry detergent. And if washing clothes isn't tough enough, check this out. Chuck Norris approved. So guys, the next step is take the cap off of the Chuck Norris approved detergent and dump it into the cap. You fill it up to the top, because typically you're gonna do a full load, and then you just kind of gradually pour it into the machine, all right? Got that? Simple enough. Then you close the lid, then you come to the dial. Here, we have all these different dials. A very complicated piece of equipment, kind of like flying a X-Wing or something like that. So you've got all these knobs. You have typically your water level, which is the size, whether it's a small load or large load. You have your water temperature, warm, cold, hot, cold, etc. You have the number of options for rinse, different types of speeds, and then the time. So if you're really confused about all this, first thing you can do is read your label. It'll say, Wash in warm water, wash in hot water. One rinse is pretty good, and every dryer is gonna be, excuse me, washing machine is gonna be different. And then you come over here, and this is the knob that starts it. So you turn it to the number of times, the type of cleanliness you want, pop it out. Water, look, it's like Niagara Falls. And now, we wait. Okay guys, now 45 minutes later, your clothes are clean. But they're still wet. You can't wear wet clothes. So what you have to do is use this machine here called the dryer, okay? You take the wet clothes, you put them in here like this. Boom, into the dryer. Next we need is some bounce. What that does, keeps the static away. That way, your clothes will cling to you like this and you get all shocky, sparkly. Throw it in, close the door. So the next thing we have to do is turn the dryer on. It's really simple. It's kind of like a stopwatch, like a clock. Think clock, think seconds and time. Time dry is usually what you want to do. Just turn this. Usually I put it on the highest. This is 70 minutes. Get your clothes toasty, warm, and dry. Then you come over here and pick your temperature. You can do low medium high or high. So if you have jeans and stuff that really need to get dry, use the high setting. Then here, this is the best thing, the push button to start the dryer. So you take your timer, you got your temperature, you are off and rolling with clean clothes on the way. Okay guys, after about 60 minutes, an hour or so, your clothes should be good and dry. And then you wait for this little buzzer to go off like this, Ah, music to my ears. All right, where's my shirt? Okay. Now, time for the good part.
right, guys, this is your chance to be an Iron Man. This is an ironing board. This is an iron. This is steam. All right. Now, we have our nicely wrinkled shirt here. So what we need to do is take out all these wrinkles. This is horrible. It's like, you know, homeless, man. Can't be that. Okay, so first thing I do when I iron a shirt, and I've literally ironed thousands of shirts in my lifetime. Trust me, I'm an expert. All right, get the collar nice and smooth, do that. Okay, first thing you do is the sleeves. <gasps> Wait a minute, I almost forgot about the most important part. Starch is your friend when it comes to ironing, especially your shirts, mostly your shirts. If you want that snazzy, spiffy, sharp dress look, use starch. All right, guys, here we go. So we got the collar iron, then we're gonna do the sleeves first. I always do the sleeves first. All right, first, what, the best way to make starch work well is you go ahead and iron it, make the cloth. See how nice and warm and steamy that is? And you put the starch on, then you spray it on. Get all those nasty wrinkles out. Plus you got that crisp, clean feel to your shirt. So you do one side. Well, it's looking so much better already. Then you do the other side. Spray that starch, man. There you go. All right, man. You can get some little elbow grease into it. Make it fun. All right, then we switch to the other sleeve. Do sleeve number two. There again. Look how wrinkled that is. Take, take, a, take a look. That is just re re ir 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 it is irresponsible to wear clothes like that. Re reprehensible is the word I want to use. All right, so we got that all nice and smooth on the board. Then we iron out the wrinkles, get our material warmed up, you're getting the rhythm going, and man, that starch just gets flowing, and you're just going to be the snazziest guy in town. Now we've got the sleeves done, and then we're going to go to the front of the shirt. Now you do this in a specific order every time. Iron the top, little part there. Get that starch flowing in, guys. You're gonna look so sharp, let me tell you. You'll be so proud. Your mama will be so proud, let me tell you. It's gonna be great. And then you just keep on starching and ironing, and starching and ironing. Okay, we're doing it, guys. Here we go. Now we go to the back. Get that. And as you walk away looking cool, they're gonna see you got your back all starched, man. All right, guys, this is the last panel. We're gonna start this up, and we're gonna do it in style. So everybody look at you, we'll just smile. All right, get that starch on there. Look how clean and beautiful that looks. It's just so macho, man. Yeah, starching your shirt is a macho experience. All right, and make sure that you don't wrinkle up the pocket because you don't want to do this. <laughs> oh, I just wrecked my pocket. What am I going to do? You just make sure that you just stay above the pocket. Don't go too far ahead of it. There you go. Get the, the little button holes iron nicely. There you go, gentlemen. Look at this piece of art. Your nicely star shirt. Guys, that is not a proper necktie. Let me show you what a proper necktie is and how to tie it. All right guys, here we go. Now we're gonna learn how to tie a necktie properly. First thing you do is get that collar up, button the top button. Can seem a little bit restrictive, but remember, no pain, no gain, right? Okay, so first thing we do is we put the tie around our neck. Put the small end on your left hand side, the large end on your right hand side. Make sure that collar is nice and high. Put the larger end over the small end, okay? Then you kind of slide it down. You have to kind of work a little bit with the length to get it proper, but we'll talk about that here. Um, so you take the big side over the small side, you loop it over, all right? Then you go to the right. There's many different kinds of knots you can use. There's a single Windsor, half Windsor. I prefer the double Windsor, so we'll, we'll do that one today. You pull it tight there, go underneath, and go back 
into the hole. There you go. All right, now you got your basic knot. Now we're gonna do the cover for the knot. So you go over the top. There is your nice little piece that's gonna show on the very front. This is the, this is the front of your knot. And then you're gonna take it underneath again and go in between. And then you're gonna pull it through. Got it? Okay, so then you kind of arrange it a little bit like this. Pull it nice and snug so you got a nice tight knot. You don't want a big gloppy loosey knot, all right? So then you pull it up tight to your neck like that. Situate it, make it look good. Put your collar down. All right, gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Hope you've learned from this great experience. Take this knowledge and apply it and use it so you can be sharpened, so you can have man skills.